Hey, yo, guys, what's up? Uh, Kilo here. Uh, a while ago, somebody asked for me to put Chewy in a video. So, Jesse, here's Chew. Um, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Chewy is my VA therapy animal. I literally have his therapy vest over there hanging on my closet door. When we go out in public, he's wearing it and all that. Um, but uh, I got my first win in solos. I'm really loving the learn curve on uh, solos and duos and apex. Um, I, I've drastically learned how to adapt to Apex. I've like learned a lot about this game in the last like two days, and I'm absolutely loving it. Not because you know Call of Duty sucks or anything, but it's it's just overwhelmingly a better uh, battle royale experience. So, um, and and it's fun. I'm actually having fun and in, in, in getting wins, and I'm just in, overall improving. By the way, if you guys have not, if you guys want to improve your Apex game, go watch this guy named Matchin. He's he's absolutely dope. Like he gave me like a quick hack on uh, how to figure out the recoil pattern of these guns because they're like weird. Woo! Excuse me. They go like left and right, and oh, Chewy. You just want to give dad a kiss, huh? In the middle of him talking? Yeah, of course you did. Um, so, uh, the recoil on these guns is like very, very random. And they go left to right uh, a crap ton. And he, he, the biggest thing that he mentioned, if you do want to improve your gunplay in Apex Legends, is muscle memory per weapon. So what I did was I just spent like an hour and a half inside the firing range on testing out every gun for like 10 15 minutes at a time at like all different ranges and i tell you what you guys warm up that way you guys will see drastic improvements in your accuracy especially if you stink with guns in apex legends because once you learn the whole entire gun curve and how everything works in the game the game is a blast like i've not had this much fun in a battle royale game in a very very long time so yeah, it's because COD kind of, for a little bit, COD kind of ruined Battle Royales for me with how crap that experience is, how broken it was all the time. Like, playing a Battle Royale that isn't broken is is an absolute godsend. Like, I'm enjoying a BR for once. And two, if I want to just take a break from BRs and I don't want to play BRs anymore, all I have to do is go over to arenas. There's ranked in both. Uh, you guys, I'm going to give Ranked a go, um, see where I end up with it. But for now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be improving my solos and duos game because what I'm learning, what I did learn while playing with my buddies the other day is that my one-on-two, um, my one versus two is just absolutely god-awful in Apex. So I just put myself in a whole bunch of solos versus duos games and you know this is my first win i got it with bangalore of course i wanted to get my first win with wraith because i absolutely love wraith but you know sometimes you got to give a character a break and that's what i did so uh i did this earlier on this morning so yeah uh if you guys want to see more of chewy just put it down in the comments he says hi and he loves you all because he's a great dog aren't you a good boy chewy you good boy yeah, you are. Thank you for giving Dad kisses. Yeah. Look at you, pretty boy. Look at you. Look at you just sitting up with your ears back looking so cute. Uh, anyway, guys, me and my VA animal are going to get off of here. So, like I said again, you guys want to know a little bit about Chewy. Chewy is my VA therapy animal, and he has been a godsend, uh, especially since I went full-blown, quit drinking and all that. This little pup right here has helped me out with all of that, and he's absolutely amazing. And it, you know what? My job would be, I'd be 100% better at my job if I could bring this dog with me. But unfortunately, due to policy, law, all that, I can't bring him past the secure side due to the fact of, you know, contraband, all of that other stuff. Because you guys know what I do with for a living by now. 
So as much as I wish that I could bring him with me every day to work and just have him chill in the tower with me, I unfortunately cannot. Um, yeah, uh, so that's all the questions that you guys have asked me as of late. Thank you guys for all of your guys' support. We finally got over the uh, 260 hump when we're on our way to 300. So for two months of being on Twitch, me getting close to 300 followers, I find that to be awesome because it took me almost a year to get 600 or took me almost a year to get 300 subs on YouTube. So like, thank you all. I really, really appreciate all the help that you guys have given me. Uh, the reason why also there's a long intro to this is because this game kind of started out really slow. That's just how you do sometimes. But I'm trying to improve my 1v2 game. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. There's a couple of moments in there where I'm 1v2 and I just come out on top. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Give my shields a recharge. Double time in it. Oscar Mike, I'm spotted. Having smoke. Arkstar out. I just dusted an entire unit. Hell yeah. The broken enemy shield. Whole unit KIA. Damn, I'm good. Give me a sec. Recharging shields. Round two. <laughs> Attention. Delivering replicator. Replicator touching down.
Damn, hands are sweaty. Inside this next ring. Attention, delivering care package. Eyes up! Incoming replicator! I broke an enemy shield! My shields of recharge. Inside the 
double time in it. I just dusted an entire unit. Hell yeah. Give my shields a recharge. Yeah, get out of here. Kill leader. Kill leader, huh? <laughs> I'll take the promotion. Forty-five. Ringing. Healing. Watch my back. Ring's close. Easy 30. Ten seconds. Close ring. Two squads left. First solo win, baby, with Bangalore. Yeah! You are the Apex Champion. Mwah. Love you too, Chewy. Yes, I do. Yeah. Dad just got his first solo win. Yes, he did. Eh, it was eight kills, but still, win is a win. Win is a win. This is where it ends. Ah!